do not make your food, put it in a Tupperware, and then leave it on your counter for a week because you literally will pass away. This 20-year-old died of a condition that's commonly referred to as fried rice syndrome. This is a condition in which you can have bacterial overgrowth if pasta or rice is left at room temperature for too long. In med school, we're taught the phrase, reheat rice, be serious, to remember which bacteria causes this condition. So how long is too long? You should not eat pasta or rice that has been left at room temperature unrefrigerated for more than two hours. So this 20-year-old kid ate a little bit of pasta, and 10 hours later, he died of liver failure from it. This is what happened. So the kid's name was AJ and he was doing kind of a meal prep type of thing. He would cook all the pasta, a big batch of it. He would separate it out into different dishes. And then when it was time to eat it, he would put it in the microwave, heat it up, add his sauce, and he's ready to go. Um, the problem is instead of putting it in the refrigerator, he would just leave it on the counter for the week. Now, leaving it on the counter allowed bacteria to grow, and a lot of people think, okay, well, once it's sitting out there, a lot of times you're just like, oh, well, just heat it up, it'll kill the bacteria. Well, not in this case. See, this is a very common thing that occurs when people call it basically the fried rice syndrome, and it's basically this specific type of bacteria that causes um, diarrhea, vomiting, and all sorts of stuff that occurs from the bacteria, the specific type of bacteria that grows when you leave food such as rice or pasta on a at room temperature for an extended period of time. And in some instances, it can be deadly. And in his case, it was the deadly kind. So he ate the pasta, went outside to play some sports, and about 30 minutes later, he was running back inside. He had stomach cramps, he had the diarrhea, he had the vomiting, um, and then he just ended up kind of going to his room and going to bed. And that's when his parents were like, man, where has he been for a little while? About 10 hours later, they go in, find him unconscious, and he had passed. 